already feeling much more open in here. Got both walls down to the studs. Oh, that's right. Let's see your booger. Mm. Lola smashed her finger real good. We are enjoying, well, the children are enjoying their mugs of milk. Takes farm to table to a whole new meaning. We just went and picked up the milk from our favorite farm. Just down the street. So here's some progress. Day three. We have... No studs. Well, there's one. Mom, I use a sledgehammer to knock this thing. You? Like that. Whoa. So here we go. This is our kitchen, still covered up Wait, with can plastic. It, can, it, can it actually hear you? Hey. All right, so Reno day three, removing walls. The remainder of the wall. Yesterday we took down all the drywall and cleaned up all the drywall. And today we are going to be working on removing the popcorn. Who is excited? Mason? No. <laughs> Everything is finally one big open space. From front door. To the back door. Fun. Nathan is up in the attic right now. Working on electrical. <laughs> I think he really needs me though. <laughs> what do you need? Okay. Okay, so I was about to tell you about the paint, and then Nathan needed me. I decided to buy the most expensive paint since I was working on such a large area in our kitchen, living room, and hallway area. And I realized that the paint. It definitely was great paint. It was a one coat kind of deal. Um, but I don't know if it was really worth the $200 price tag. Um, in our last house, I did buy the $30 tub of paint that was at the ReStore. And I really don't know if I would actually buy a, a $200 can of paint again. Um, and then I also... So, the ceiling, we knocked down all the texture, all the popcorn, but I don't know if you can tell, I, when we took down the wall, it left a line, so we first, well, I went across and used some, I don't know, mud, drywall mud, and I filled in the open spaces, and now we're going back and adding popcorn and then we're going to remove the popcorn and then we're going to paint it in hopes that it looks like the rest of the ceiling. But I also wanted to tell you about this awesome little brush. This is the one and only trim brush that I use. It's this cute little tiny one and it sticks. Yes, I'm a mess. It sticks right here in your hand and the, the design of it is for getting up in the nooks and crannies of the walls. And I have used this on every paint project that I have done, and I love it. Nathan is still up in the wall, the ceiling, working on the electrical. And there you can tell the, the wall that we knocked down as well. We're gonna be adding recess lighting into all the holes, so Nathan is Working on wiring all of our lights, which is actually quite a task because the home was 
improperly wired, we are finding out. Good morning. It is day five of renovation and day 10 of our 21 day sugar detox. The children and I are getting ready to go on a field trip with our homeschool group. So we get to leave the house, which I'm very excited about. We've been here for a long time. A lot of work has gone into this place. As you can see, half of the ceiling is painted. We opted to paint the ceiling the same color as the walls to hopefully camouflage our issues with removing the popcorn. It was actually harder than we thought to remove the popcorn in this space and we opted to leave it uh, kind of bumpy. I don't know if you can see that at all. Yeah, you can. So it's bumpy still. It is not perfectly smooth. Oh, so while I was busy painting all of this yesterday, the children were working on this massive contraption. My massive contraption. Yep, it's the big ball factory that connects structure. Here we are. It is almost the end of day five. Well, for me it's the end because I will be going to church tonight. And that is just how it's gonna go. I am still working on painting the ceiling and it is taking forever. And yes, this is my get up. I figured I'd let y'all see me for real. No makeup, no glory. Yes, a kiddo just came out of their room because they heard me talking to myself. And I decided to cover my hair because yesterday I managed to get all the paint in my hair. And I'm covering my eyes because I managed to get quite a large dollop of paint in my eyeballs. So far I've also gotten it in my mouth, but I got a rash from the face mask because the dogs took them, took my mask anyway, and <laughs> ran off with it. So who knows what got on my face mask and I can't wear it anymore because it gives me a rash. So yes, I'm having issues and my arms are incredibly sore and I am so tired of the renovation. Here's our progress. All right, so Nathan is working on making an entryway bookshelf right here. So it's gonna go to cover this area. It will have electric running to it and it will be just about a half height of bookshelf. So when you walk in, you can set your keys down. Not right here, though. Not right here. No, not right there. It's gonna be kind of on the other side. Like, over Careful. That's what, don't worry guys. The electric is turned off <laughs> for that reason. Um, he did finish installing all of the recessed lighting. We just need to go back and add the decorative, I don't know, the decorative contraptions for them uh, once I finish painting, which is, like I said, taking forever. I have this little tiny section left and it's just killing my arms. So here we go. We started removing the plastic which I think the rest of it can come down now so I can finish painting around that cabinet. Eventually, I'm going to paint all of this upper section. I'm not really even sure what it is. It's just panel paneling and decoration for the lights that are up there. But I'll paint all of that to match the cabinets. The cabinets are probably original to the home, which is fine with me. I don't care too much about the style. Um, it's more the color that is just desperately too dark and dated. So I'll probably add a coat of white paint and maybe freshen up the handles to match the new light fixture that will be going right there above the dining room table. It's kind of hard to see it all um, right now because we're still in such a raw state 
eventually the fireplace is all going to get painted too. I'm sorry, I don't like the wood. I will probably stain the mantle a much darker color and paint the faux logs white or a whitewash. And I do plan on painting the trim around this window to match this window once I paint that. So I still have all the trim work to do, which painting trim, it's tedious, but it's still much, much better than painting the ceiling. And yes, you can still see the wall imperfections, but I don't think it's quite as bad as it was if we hadn't painted it. The white just kind of, I don't know, accentuated the imperfections. So there you have it, day five.